Welcome to the channel. I hope all of you are doing really well. I often talk about please like, share, subscribe, all that kind of thing. But you know what? There is one thing that is more important than any of liking, sharing and subscribing. And it is trust. Badger Punch Studios. Thank you. Thank you very much for the trust that you've put in me. So what do I mean by this? This is Roguecraft and this has been created by them on the Amiga. This is effectively the successor to Rogue 64 which came out on the Commodore 64. I love the Commodore 64 game and this game has been available in demo as well but you know I've actually been deliberately ignoring it and it's going to be releasing on the 2nd of September. Today, Monday. I spoke to Badger Punch Studios and they allowed me to play an early access version of this. So thank you very much. You know, your trust is truly, truly appreciated. This video is going to be bookmarked all across the bottom so you can have a look to see, um, you know, different points of the game, different things of the game. Um, but this is a full version of the game that's going to be available from itch.io. And those details will be in the ticker that scrolls across at some point in the video. Let's get on with the show. And I'm rather excited to be doing this. So the first character we are going to be playing is going to be the warrior. There are three characters in this game and we're going to have a little go at each and every one of them and it will be in the chapters below. So let's get started. So here we are. This is on the Amiga. The Amiga is recreated on the Mr. FPJ and we've got three options. We can start a game, we can do instructions or we can do credits. And look at this. As you move around and start a game, the credits and everything else like this. Look at the little chicken. He moves there. The chicken moves. It, it, it is quite cute actually. Anyway, let's look at the instructions. So far to start these and you can read this at your own pace but the key things to remember is the red and the blue potions have different effects every time you start a new game the green potion is always healing um, that like I suppose hash and uh, the blue diamond give permanent upgrades I'm rewarded for killing monsters and that's all we really need to know about that I think this is all we need to know so good luck brave warrior because we are going to be the warrior so we're going to start the game and here we go, uh, we're a warrior here, he's on start, we've got another two characters, we will visit those a bit later, but we're just going to start with the warrior. So, here we go. Now, the monster isn't running towards us, the monster is not running towards us, because this is a grid-based game. Let's explain what's going on. You know, covering up the word uh, time is my little webcam here, hello, so that says time. And when you get certain effects, they will time out there, there'll be a number that counts down, and it counts down by movements, because everything is grid-based. So, you know, if I, um, let's see, if we move that way, and that way, you see the monster moves. So we can move towards the monster and we can hit the monster by moving into its square which does the sword and we killed a, a monster that I can't pronounce at the bottom, I can't pronounce at the bottom. But essentially yeah, grid based game so that's how the movement works as well on the time. So when that kicks, when that counts down it will basically be uh, counting down at that point. So yeah, quite easy to do. And if we grab a potion, no, nope, yeah, we grab the potion that goes on to our inventory. To use the inventory, we've lost one health bar there, so we've got the four hearts. We can go up to five hearts. If we hold down fire and a long hold and we move to the left, there's a clumpy potion. Let go of fire. We drink it. Our health has gone up. Our strength is only at one bar at the moment. The map that you see on the screen, because we're in level one, the cave of mold unease is shown on the top right hand side of the screen. This is random every time. It is absolutely random every time. So, you know, we have uh, no real control over what the map's going to be. And we've got to find a key. We've got to get that key and we've got to open the door to get to the level below but we've got to collect as much gold as well as we go on a journey upgrade ourselves power ups all those kind of things so essentially that's what's going on so if we want to leave this room we can only go effectively south so we're going to look at the map and consider it for this video northeast southwest so we're going south and you can see that yellow line on the bottom of the screen there we go through there and we go south and look at that how it clears that room that looks really really good it's a very nice transition and we've got the little chicken guy there oh i'm gonna have to kill you there you go i'm sorry my friend i'm sorry and there's a chest let's open the chest grab some gold 400 points those yellow things are probably going to be bad to step in so we don't want to be doing that and we've now got a potion now if we recall on the instructions it said that you know the red potions and the uh, the red potions and the blue potions yeah do different things so we hold down fire into inventory and it's a thick potion 
and it reveals everything. So what that means, I don't know. Does it? Oh, it reveals the map. Look, it's, it's created the whole map. So there you go. That little map there, that blue dot is where the exit down is. So we're going to have to basically find a key um, so we can open that and go down. You know, we're going to explore all these rooms if we can, because I want to try and clear the level fully um, to get experience to learn exactly what magic this game has. You know, I know the basic rules of what's going on here, but you know, what is there anything else going on? Because it's probably going to get harder um, as we go deeper, and the different characters may give a different set of challenges as well. I honestly don't know. Right, okay, sorry, chicken, you're now mad. Chicken, you didn't deserve that, but you came into my path. All right, and I have no idea how to pronounce the name of whatever we've just killed there, but it is what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's a green blob, it's a green blob. And, you know, just look at the detail on the walls there. You know, you've got the skeletons, uh, skeleton heads over there. You've got blood on the floor here as well, where the chicken died. Oh, that's gone now. And, oh, look, 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 look. There was here eyes eyes are looking at you as well so spooky 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 this is so cool this really is you know this is like having a version of nethack on the amiga with awesome graphics and the the reaction the speed is instant you know there is no delay here you know this is running super smooth and we are using a mr fpga to do this um, and that will make no difference at all in how super smooth it's running, but it is super smooth. And what do we know about this room? Well, we know that we've basically got four exits, but look how the room is divided. It's like this is a hallway that we're in, and we've got these little subset rooms underneath here. So we're just going to check this one, see if there's a key in here, because the key is what's needed. There's no key, but there is a heart. So kill the chicken, grab the heart, kill the green guy. And he's gone, he's toast. All right, now in here is the exit room because that is shown by the blue square. Oh, there's another heart. Joy B, we are strong. But the exit, we don't have a key. Look, it says you need a key at the bottom of the screen. So there's nothing we can do about that. We cannot leave this level. So we're gonna go up here. And this is a rather full room. We've got a key, we've got a chest, we've got a monster. And we got a chicken, and now everybody is dead apart from us, and that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, let's go through here, and we have a blue potion. Now, let's go. Let's. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay, yeah, we need to go north here. Let's go north there. All right, kill that monster, and we're gonna take this all the way to the one room that we haven't explored because I want to explore the whole dungeon. These graphics are so good. They are really, really so good. All right, as you can see on the mini-map, whatever room you're in gets effectively a cold box around it. And here we are. So let's drink the potion. So a runny potion, and it blasted the monsters. Right, we need an inventory full of runny potions. All right, okay, so red potion shows everything. Blue potion is the one that we want to have. And now we go this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we are going to go through here. So into the trap door we go next level. All right, so this is called level two, the nook of nasty surprises. All right, so that must mean something's going to be obsessing. Now, red potion is going to be perfect. So if we hold down here, oh, we're holding the fire button, we drink the thick potion, we get the whole map. So we know exactly where to go now. This is a great potion to have. Obviously, oh, there's a bat. Okay, it's called something else. Kamatoz, I can't pronounce that. So if you're into mythic things like Call of whatever it's bloody called i can't pronounce that either um that doesn't really help with this description does it you know you have all these strange long names that you can be worrying about you could be worrying about saying you know how the hell do we pronounce these well as long as you can read and pronounce it in your head the way you want to then that's all that matters oh dear lord we're getting weak okay so we need we need that heart i didn't realize how weak we were so we've got the heart um, when you open the chest, you get more points. So, boom, there you go. But 
But look at that, you've got four zeros to the left of 2850. Holy hell, how many points are we gonna need on this game? All right, okay, how many points can you get on this game? All right, so, there's a nice carpet there, but there's a monster coming towards us. And he is now dead. He's now dead. All right, let's do the, the I don't think there's a, no, I was gonna say there's no point in killing the chickens, but it was running at me, you know? And, and it was a chicken with its head on as well. They say that if you chop the head off a chicken, it will run around. Oh, got the key, got the key. It will run around in circles for a while. Apparently that's memory muscle um, doing that, you know, because it, it, it's in a dead state and you probably can't sustain a chicken living too long with its head cut off. But there's probably some urban myths or somehow some lasted a long time. All right, what we're looking to do now is we have got the key, which is great. So I'm, I've got a personal mission now, which is to hunt through these levels. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to find uh, the red potion, because the blue one blasted monsters. We want the red potion, if we can find it, to then go into the level below to open up and see the whole level. This is great, the way it operates, the way it works. As I say, it's very much like Dungeon Master. It's grid-based. You know, I move, the chicken moves. I move, the chicken attacks me there. Oh, look at that, look at that. That appeared. Okay, so I've got more strength. Glorious. Glorious. I need more health, actually. But I've got more strength. But I'm looking for potions. So a red potion and a green potion is what we want. Oh, they die. Oh, I was about to say so they die so quickly with my magical stuff. All right, so that's going to blast. Oh, I've, you know what? We're going to use the health one. We're going to use the health one. All right, we can still blast monsters as well. Okay, go here. Chick un missed you. You know, why a dungeon is full of chickens, I don't know. Colonel Saunders, you know, would, ha would absolutely love to be here, wouldn't he? Okay, so we are going to blast that monster. Boom, there he goes. And now we've got that. All right, so we've got we've got four more rooms to visit. What's nice as well, and I generally mean this, is that the rooms don't auto-repopulate with, with monsters. You, know, you, you don't kill them and go back in, and there they are again. So, you know, progression is somewhat progressive in terms of, you know, it's not reset as soon as you leave a room, which is nice. Oh, I think the chicken took a bit of health out of me. Bollocks to that. Right, those look bad. I can only imagine things that open like that are bad, so we're not going to walk on those. You know, why would you work? Because I might fall to my death or something horrible. Oh, I should have saved the blast potion. But you know what? Let's get them lined up. Oh, we lost one health. I was hoping another blue thing would appear, another blue strength potion would appear but no or, or diamond or whatever it was right that's the exit but in the spirit of my ocd we are going to try and avoid the exit right we'll kill you i'm going to try and avoid the exit and just have a look at the final room be a potion okay no potion and we're down to our last health all right that was really stupid all right let's go down to level three Oh, here we are. We've immediately got two bad guys. Oh, and we died. We died on the first bite on level three. So here we are, game over. Your bones lay scattered on the floor. The hero was the warrior. We scored 5,650 points and we got to level three. Chest 12 of 22. So that tells me there's probably 10 more chests that were on that level that we didn't find and there you go we've got reveal all and clear the room those are what the potions we got killed by something that i can't pronounce and no secrets found so there are secrets that's clearly going to be found in this game so that was a bit of fun and i had a lot of fun playing that i truly truly had a lot of fun playing that character you know it's great when you have a game that gives you great progression and stuff like this and the warrior was good but we've still got one more character. In fact, now we've got two more characters to play. Let's go and see who's going to be next on the agenda. 
So we're now playing The Rogue, and we'll see what The Rogue is going to be like. Hopefully The Rogue will be an interesting one, so we're starting the game again. And, okay, so The Rogue looks like that's to the left. Nope. To the right. Here we go. Sneaky type with deadly twin blades. Special ability, teleport. All right, not sure how that's going to work. We will see how that works, and we're just going to start the game again. So here we are. Right, oh, there we go, there's teleport. So, if I hold down the fire button, I can move to teleport, and boom, there we are. Oh, that's going to make this a lot more fun. If we find ourselves in times of trouble, Mother Mary come to me, is what the Beatles used to say. But in this game, if we find ourselves in times of trouble, we're just going to teleport away. Oh, no, 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 look. It's now used. Oh, balls, it's got a cooldown. Look at that. Teleport cooldown. So this means that we cannot use it as a Hail Mary to get out of everything we need to do. All right, so let's go this way. We're in the same first map, but it's different. It is different here. So the map is always going to be random. All right, so all we're going to do is just go all the way to the west, so to speak. And then we'll go all the way to the east because i can't imagine i always go south as well i was gonna say i can't imagine it being very big on the first level but it is all right so our teleport has now come back you've seen that uh recharge oh good 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 we got the key the level of dl on these graphics you know is spectacular this this would have sold a bloody million you know, if if it was released back in the day, so to speak. Although it's released now, I hope it's, it sells so much. This deserves to do really well. And today is September the 2nd, the, the day it's released. If you're watching this video on the dev release, so you can go to itch.io and play this yourself. I am playing the full version of this game, um, which, you know, I'm truly, truly grateful uh, for Badger Punch for allowing me to do this. Honestly, trust trust means a million and one things to me it really does thank you very much all right okay so kill you grab this and as a small channel you know what if you're trusted by developers of their great game like this then you know it shows that you're doing something right it shows that you're doing something right it really really does all right let's go down here all right, dead end. But look at that, we have a potion. We have a potion. All right, so let's grab that potion. Uh, we're gonna see what it does. We need to see what it does. Okay, so hold down fire. Move to, in fact, we'll see what that one does. The runny potion. Okay, so that kills all the monsters like before. And that are oh, great. So that that's a waste. So we're the rogue who can teleport. Yet yeah, the other potion will also teleport us. So, you know, I suppose it's good if our recharge has gone down. But, ah, balls to that. We, 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 we haven't got God staring down at us on this particular road. That was a great run we had before where we had the opportunity to reveal the map and we could blast the monsters in the room by, by, by using one of the potions. But nah, balls to this. This is not, um, you know, the best potions that we've got. But it doesn't matter. We are having fun with our double swords and our green cloak as we go about the dungeon. All right, okay, where are we going to go now? Where are we going to go now? Let's go this way. We can only go this way, actually. Let's go this way. All right, aha, look, look, look. Oh, we got to survive the chicken. <laughs> we got to survive the chicken, but strength. Strength is good. We need health. We need health. Well, this is a nice looking room, isn't it? You know, you can imagine, you can, uh, the Irish would love this room. You know, that, that they, that they've got a little fire pit to drink their beer and cook their food. They, they would absolutely love that. All right, okay, so let's go here anyway. All right, so I am now gonna teleport. Boom. Right, let's see if that strategy worked. I'm hoping for a health. Yes, it did, it did. All right, I am brilliant. Well, strategically brilliant for once. All right, so we got our four health there. Hang on a minute. He's got less health. 
he has got less health than, you know, the 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 the, the, the other. Oh my word. Right, so I'm going to walk into that pulse one blocks. Okay, I'm now going to walk into the pulse one blocks and let the monster come to me. There we go. Oh, I'm Mr. Two Health now. That is a crying shame. All right, let's go all the way down here. Okay, we can get out here. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can find a heart or some more green potions. Right, there's nothing in there that, that is useful to us. So we've got one room to have a quick look at. Okay, nothing in there that is useful to us. So we're going to go down with our two health. Right, so we're in the nook of nasty surprises. Okay, we killed that chicken first go, which is great. Uh, we've got all our health back with those hearts. And we're now going to go west. Alright, that's dead. I would like another blue diamond, I think it is, to give me some more strength. I definitely want another blue diamond to give me some more strength. And that appeared, I think, when we killed monsters. So that that gives you a reason to kill the monsters. Will you give me a blue diamond? No, you won't. All right, got the chest. Let me go through here. Got you. Got that. Okay, we still got full health, so there's no point in being stressed about that for the moment. Come on, blue diamond. No. Right, let's go up here. Right, there's a health now. Well, I've lost some health there. What I was wondering was if I grab the health, would it go past four hearts? But no, it probably doesn't. But we do need a key. Oh, there's a bat. There's a chicken. Let's do the bat. Got ya. Alright, let's get the key. Alright, we're gonna go all the way. Look at the detail of these. See, these these kukuffle type monsters, or however they're pronounced, hanging on the wall here. Hanging on the wall there. Right, okay, let's go through here. Alright. So, can you kill you keep exploring okay oh no 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 all right potion time full health i lost a life doing that oh and there's something else there's something else what is that on the floor look at this this is one of those bonus things max health increase glorious all right so now we have five health now we are like we were uh, with the other character, all right, he's, he's got a bit of uh, enthusiasm in his feet now because you know what, he knows he can survive. All right, that's gone. You know what, carry on south. Okay, red potion. Oh, I can't remember what the red one was. No, I didn't go south enough. We are exploring these rooms because you know what? We have the exit, but if the more we can level up, um, if we can get another blue diamond type scenario, the better we will be on the next level, I think. All right, okay, so all we can do is we go north, north. There is a path we didn't go on the bottom of the map there. Look on the bottom row, there was, there was the east we didn't go. I think we're probably going to ignore that. Yeah, we'll do that chest. All right, Batty Bat is gone. All right, let's go through here. All right, and we're now down. There we go. Level three. Oh, there's a look at that. Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies about that little cough. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? We've got two chests. 
Ah, oh, look. Okay, so this is called Get the Gold. This means there is loads. There is loads of gold here. I right, get that one. Oh, shit. A mimic. A mimic. I know what mimics are. Um, right, okay. We need to be aware of mimics. Now, that's a new fear. That's, an, that's a new fear of basically chests that bite. Oh... Uh, They're not very strong though, so, you know, that, that seems to be not too much of a problem. Alright, 6450, get the gold. Right, let's go down here. And we're going to open that chest. Right, let's try, I, can't, I forgot what the potions are. One was teleport. Right, the only potion blur. Alright, so the blue one is good. The red one is teleport. Alright, that was a bit of a waste, but that's okay. So, red is teleport. Oh, that's new. Look at that. Alright, lovely, lovely. So, the more you explore, the more things are there on the map. So, this has introduced spiky things. If I hit fire there, does that open? I'm wondering what the secrets are. Uh, that introduced spikes on the floor and uh, mimics. Alright, you wonder when you get big rooms like this as you run across, you know, is there going to be something nasty in here jumping out at you? Alright, let's go this way. Okay, we're going to do the south room first. Okay, there's nothing but two monsters in there. Spikes everywhere, green stuff everywhere that's going to hurt. We're just going to leave that. Alright, okay, he is dead. He is dead. We need to heal. We have absolutely got to heal. And that is our healing. Oh, did you see that? The monster hurt itself. Okay. So that's something to be aware of. That maybe we can lead monsters into traps. Alright. Call Mimics. Come on, get a big B. Oh, I've got to go all the way around the edges. But it's like line dancing, isn't it? Okay, so the monster hurt itself as it went on there. So the monsters are pretty dumb, which is probably quite good for me. Oh, around here. Carefully navigate. So, I spent a long, long time avoiding the demo of this. I would not touch the demo that came out. And holy hell, it's been absolutely worth it. You know, we'll do one more playthrough with the last remaining character, but it has been absolutely worth it. You know, this is an incredibly great game. And I say this from someone that, although I've got early access to this, I will be... Oh, I'm, did I get stuck on that? No, maybe not. Um, although I've got early access to this to do a video for it, I will be buying this. You know, I'm not going to have this for free. Um, you know, I will be buying this game because it deserves to be bought. You know, people that produce games of this caliber deserve to be bought. My only regret, my only regret so far is that I missed the pre-order because I would have brought one of the boxes with the originals with everything like that and I'm so gutted I missed the pre-order and hopefully hopefully if they do another one I'll be able to catch that and be able to buy this because I do want to hold an original one of these but hey ho you know that's life I've still got the pleasure I'm still so lucky to be playing this a little bit early for all of you great people all right okay so we are looking for the exit we've got a key which we know which is great so we're going to go through here and kill the bats i just paused for a moment if that's going to be a mimic you know that's not what we want to see there's a mimic oh and he killed me we died on level three so your bones lay scattered on the floor the hero was the rogue 8400 so yeah looks like we only had four chests left to go Teleport and clear the room, which was blast the monsters, which is what we've got there. And yeah, 
No, that's absolutely great. That really, really is. So impressions so far, impressions so far that I'm this far through the game, I'm doing two characters. Controls are so simple, they make it really, really playable. You do not have to be an octopus to be playing this. You know, you can just do uh, everything on the joystick. You know, they've absolutely nailed the controls. This works so well. This really does work so well. But we have got one more character. We have basically got one more character left to play. So let's go back to the game. So here we are. The final character is the wizard. And the wizard can shoot fireballs apparently. So, you know, let's see. Let's see what this is actually like. So we're gonna start the game now. Go into the game. And here we are. Uh, no. Oh yes, it is a wizard. There we go, start. So frail but dangerous spell welder. Special ability, magic missiles, difficulty hard. So it probably means two health or something like that. So welcome, <laughs> it is two health, all right, okay. How could I have guessed? All right, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. Okay, this is going to be a great character to play. So, shoot the chicken. Position ourselves. Oh. Oh, I've been attacked. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, so... Okay, so it shoots in the last direction you move. So this is going to be really planned and really position yourself. But holy hell, only two health. Hmm. We, 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 we need that upgrade. We need that upgrade that gives you more health. We so need that. All right, let's go through here. Oh, I'm glad we didn't start with the wizard. That would have been unholy hard. Okay, and it's. I think our wand has got limited shots. Let's try. Right, we're leaving the room. We're going back in. Let's count the squares. I reckon it's going to end. I was about to touch the screen to show you, but you're not going to see it. So you've got the blue square, the brown square, the brown square, and the blue square. So I reckon it's going to end on the brown square. Yeah. Was that the blue square? It's, it's four. It's, it's got a distance of four by the looks of things. All right. Oh, day! I only just saw you there. Right, so this is going to be strategic play where you've got to leave the room. In fact, let's hope that that's a blast monster. Let's test that. Yes, it is a blast monster. All right, we know they can be different things. And there seems to be more than the than, than two options because we've had a teleport and we've had a reveal map as well. All right, all we need now is a key and we are not going to be dilly-dallying. Okay, this is where strategy is going to really, really come into this. All right. Okay, I can hit you, I can hit you, I can hit you. All right, so there's a potion. Let's see what that is. Oh, roll. Okay, something new. So there you go. You've got an effect button there and a time ticking down every move where my webcam is. You'll see that 0, 06 turn to a 0, 05. You can just see the top of the five. So great, my character is drunk. And fortunately, that trap closed. That trap closed, so I was all right. I was okay, being drunk and walking into a trap would have killed me. But no, we need to go back in here and we need to go this way because we're looking for a key. All right, okay, so that is a burnt Kentucky Fried Chicken very quickly. All right, got to wait. Okay, three shots killed you, which is great. Grab the key, open the chest. All right, so with this character, with this particular playthrough, what we're going to do is we are not going to dick around on all levels. Look at this, look at this tentacles coming through the walls. You see this blocked thing here, I reckon at some point 
it will um uh, there's a secret I, I reckon the secret is through the doors so through the walls through the walls I'll, and knowing that it seems to be one one secret on the level I would argue that there's a special wall that if you see it it's oh yes strength all right is that gonna be our missiles are stronger right okay let's test the distance all right so I think that's the same all right we'll assume that's stronger but yeah there's gonna be a wall that we can walk into I think that doesn't say blocked for the secrets because all the controls are done through the gamepad there's going to be something unique somewhere and that was not the room I wanted to go into we can count our blessings that at least at this point in the game the monsters don't follow you into rooms uh, you know room, room from room all right so we're going down okay I need to get out of this room very quickly oh we did it. All right, that's gone. That's gone. All right, so this is the potion we were looking for. That is the potion that we were looking for to um, increase health. Okay, I'm killing. Oh, oh, oh bollocks. I was trying to kill them because that looks like it's a room we would be going through um, multiple times if there's nothing up this way I shouldn't have done it okay so we can shoot across the gaps in the floor which is great now was this a, oh, was this a drunk potion yeah oh, bollocks it's a blast the monsters one all right so blue blue is a good potion to have yeah don't want to be in that room too long all we're doing is we're hunting a key and we're hunting the exit we're trying to get down as low as quick as we can so we found the exit room which is great and that's got a heart in it but that's not going to help us at the moment there's another heart there as well okay we killed oh we don't want to touch the heart we killed everything there which is good like, come on, give me a key. Give me a key. All right, you give me a chicken. You know what? I can kill that bat. Because the chest was my defense. All right. And the chicken is chickenized as well. Okay, there is. want the key in there and there's a look at this we've got the monster oh no no wrong one wrong, wrong way wrong way go back in go back in okay we've got the green monster we killed we've got a bat and we've got a chicken and the chicken died of bad luck that must be that trap it walked into so we're going to try and get here so we're aligned with the bat and we can shoot the bat that way all right perfect perfect somehow we survived that i can't believe that we have got this character this far through here you know it was a very weak character but we're going to try and go further than where we've ever been before so we're going to try and take this character to level four which is going to mean strategically pretty much avoiding everything um, hoping for blue potions because blue potions will be the way forward um, all right so we do need to kill things a little bit here okay that was close it doesn't come much closer than that because one hit from that bat and we would have been dead and we're now here Right, so we know that chess can be mimics. So this is going to be very bad for us. Now, if I recall, in Dungeons and Dragons, if you find a mimic, you have to fight it. You can't run away from it. So I don't know whether that is the same here. 
Oh shit, shit, shit. Did you see that? The mimic ran towards us. Oh, we can kill for, all right, we did kill it. All right, so that's how we do it. That's how we do it. In and out of the room. Oh, I didn't realize mimics could move. All right, this is going to be a stealth game now with the wizard. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry about this. It's a little bit repetitive, but I want to get... I want to get to the fourth level. Oh, that bat got a bit close, didn't it? Out we go. Run away, run away, retreat and come back. God, I'm like the Welsh. I'm like the Welsh here. And what do I mean by the Welsh? Well, we are England. We are Great Britain. And a little known fact is the true British people all live in Wales. And why is that? Well, we have been invaded by so many countries so many times. But what actually happens is anytime we get invaded, you know, the Romans and, and people that just got an issue with us, we run to the west of the country, which is Welsh. We run to the west of the country. So the Welsh are experts at running away and they are the true British because yeah, they avoid conflict and they have wonderful green farmlands and everything else like that. So yes, this character must be Welsh because of the amount of running away it's doing. But no, we're okay. We're okay for the moment. We're okay for the moment. And if you're Welsh, all I've got to say to you, my friends, is poppity ping, poppity ping. Now, um, if anybody wants to know what that means, well, the Welsh don't have a British word for oven. Um, they don't use the British word oven. They use the word poppity for oven. And if you have a poppity ping, can you guess what that is? I'll tell you in a few moments time if I remember. All right, so we've got a green potion here and we go through here. Oh, no, I have wrong direction, wrong direction, you twat. All right, so fire, fire, yes, dead on two. Oh, glad, glad, glad. I need, I need, I need a blue potion though. All right, you're dead there. I, I just can't risk going near any chests. I really, really can't. Because, you know, if 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 I will, if 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 I was to be an egg here and I was to put my myself as an egg inside a property ping then it would probably kill it there's a clue there's a clue what a property ping is for you you'd have to turn it on you would have to turn it on but if you turn on the property ping in wells with an egg inside it is very likely explode and die there you go another clue all right so where are we going where are we going okay this room here you know what? We can win things by killing monsters. We can't win the strength. Can I lure this towards me a little bit? Yes. Oh, I was hoping it was going to drop a diamond or something um, to give me more strength. All right, there's, that's the exit room. It was quite important that I killed that bat because if I get here with basically no strength, then you know I, I I need to get down that level. All right, okay, we're not going to try and cross this level for the moment. All right, we're going to hope, 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 hope that the key is up here. It's going to be up here actually. It has to be up here purely for the fact is this is the only way to go on this crazy, crazy dark level. Leave. Oh, that's too close. That was too close. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I need to get past that. I need to get past that. No, I know what to do. I know what to do. We come in. Oh, he's coming this way. 
go. I don't, we're going to learn to see whether it stacks up the hits. Oh, yeah, well, I've got to hit it first, though, haven't I? Right, so if we hit it once, I think they die on two to three hits. No, leave. Go back. Yes, we did it. I had to take that risk. I had to take that risk. All right, okay, so be a key in here. No chests and bats. All right, okay, we are exploring, we are exploring. I still don't know what the secrets are. Okay, more bats, but we can shoot across the gap in the room. Okay, I need to leave. I messed that up, I fumbled that. Alright, good, 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 good. I fumbled that. So a property ping, if you don't know, is a microwave. It is a microwave in Wales. It is the oven that goes ping, so that's why it's called a property ping. Alright, let's run all the way across here. Bravely run through this room. Okay, no key in there. But we got a, we can grab that. Now what was that? I think that was the drunk one. No, we ain't gonna do anything with that yet. No deliberate, oh, the monster hurt itself. Oh, we had to leave, we had to leave. We didn't, couldn't allow it to get a hit on us. Okay, we're not doing this too well. This is grid based, as I say, so you know, mathematics is probably involved, apparently. I can't get myself aligned up. All right, let's go in again. Let's go in again. Come to me. Maybe this is the way to do it. There we go. There we go. That's how we do it. that room okay there's no key oh look at that look at that we got an upgrade right what's it what's gonna be max health increase that's good that's good all right you know what let's walk into that door no nothing there okay I'm not I don't want to get too close to that chest in case that is a mimic Come on. Yes, that's dead. All right, please be a key in here. Oh, my eye was all gazing around the room thinking, where's the key? And there's no key. All right. It might be south. All right, so what we're going to do, we're, we're going to try to take the path of least resistance. I think there was only one monster in here. Oh no, it's gonna, I've got to go past it. You know what? If I go all the way around it... Oh, there we go. That's how we get past chests that we don't want to go near. And there is the key. Right, out. In. All right, that's dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, that nearly killed me. That nearly killed me. All right. Okay, and I accidentally ran into that gold one. All right, let's do our health. All right, so one of these is going to be a drunk potion, if I recall. One's going to kill the monsters. Okay, that killed the monsters. All right, so that's okay. Oh, hang on. I don't know what it did. One wasn't a drunk potion, I don't think. Oh, look at look at those spikes there as well. More death and pain. You know, I'm inclined to think that this is a secret. Can I 
shoot it. No, all right, fair enough. All right, okay. So theoretically, we could take our wizard that isn't so weak anymore and head back to the exit and get further than where we've got before with potentially the weakest character. I hope I don't screw this up by doing something stupid. Well, we need to stop every time we go into the room to see what's there. Pass this, go past there. And we go down here. All right. Avoid those chests, because one was likely a mimic. And there we go, we have never been this far. Level four, spectacle shenanigans. Okay, and I already see new things. Oh, that was so close. Look at that, look at that. Now, I've got a new fear of chests as well, so we want to stay away from those. Oh, look at you. Hello, my beauty. All right, okay. This is going to be a tough one to be lined up with. Hang on. That chicken. Did I miss that chicken in here before? Never mind. You can live. You can live. That's fine. You know what? We're, we're going to run all the way up here. I don't think I even want to go near that. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's generally panic sweat here. Right, okay. Okay, so my movement is now not brilliant because of the ale. Oh, we survived. We survived that. All right, no owl. No, no red potions from now on. And the guy that scratched me. Come on back. All right, okay. Two dead things there. Right, health is really, really needed now. Oh, mother hell! Killed! Killed by a chicken! So your bones like hide on the floor. Hero the wizard, level four. All right, so every level has a secret, because secrets are four now. So that shows us they progress. Strong L, clear the room. That's what we've got there. And this is great, so we've played all three characters, but you know what? Of a game of this caliber, you know, we've done start game, we've done instructions. We're gonna have a moment's silence from me before we have a look at final thoughts. Um, uh, and this silence is gonna be while we let the credits roll. A game of this caliber needs the credits to be rolling to see who is involved to bring this great, great, great masterpiece to you all. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> So, right at the wrong moment, my controller died. Go on, reconnect. So, it shows it needs charging. There we go. Credits.
So there we go. This is the end of the video and this has been a fantastic experience. 10 out of 10 for me. I will be buying this myself. I will absolutely be buying this myself. No two ways about it. You know, we don't do freebies on this channel anyway, but this deserves, this absolutely deserves to be bought. And I'll be going to itch.io later today to buy it. Although I've already got it um, because it needs to be brought. So what do I think? You know, controls great, movement great, atmosphere great, graphics great, gameplay great. You could see the difference as, as it got harder actually between the three characters that were playing so the, the game balancing is really really good but i mean this in the biggest compliment possible you have lemons here and what do i mean by lemons you've got the kind of game where you could release you know christmas versions of it and stuff like that i mean you, you could add a little bit of snow to the dungeon and stuff like that you could swap the characters around you know here's an idea for free characters you could have one which could be maybe a busty amazon woman um with a big sword you know j j just to cater a little bit for the women you could maybe have someone with a uh, glasses and a hat here you know uh, uh, as the rogue type character and for the christmas character for the wizard character he would be a christmas character you have all these choices available to you if you ever want to do anything on top of what you've already done. But this game deserves to grow and grow and grow. And you know what? Even if you did a bonus disc, so to speak, a bonus demo version of this, so you flip back to the demo version where you've got the Christmas type theme or something like that, which is very limited. It's another way to push this to keep renewing this product. This product deserves to be sold. This product deserves to be seen. And you know what? I've had an absolute blast playing this. Um, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I appreciate your trust in me. I appreciate you allowing me to do this. And, you know, I hope you enjoy the video. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. And you know what? The next video is going to have to go a long way to beat this game. Goodbye.